Hello everyone, it's me JB from Inic Tutorials. Today, in this video, I will show you how to play a guitar using a computer keyboard. So, without any further more delay, let's begin. So, firstly, you need to download two applications. So, just open any web browser and just search for one application name as Prefiano. And on the first list, you will see its official website. Just click on it. Now below you can see your download options. One is for 32-bit and one is for 64-bit. So I'll highly recommend you to download the 32-bit. As I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to download it again. So you firstly download it on your respective Windows computer. And after that, once again open any web browser. And in the Google search, just search for the application name as Spicy Gator by QLab. And on the first list, you will see one website link. Just click on it. And just scroll down below. And here you will see a download option for different operating system. So it has for available for Mac also, even for Windows. So right now I'm using a Windows. So you can download either 32 bit or 64 bit. But I'll highly recommend you to download this 32 BSD files. So this also I have already download it so I'm not going to download it again so you firstly download these two files and after that just open the folder where you have downloaded these two applications so you can see here one is a zip file and one is an installer file right so just extract the first one so you will see one folder name as free piano so let us open so before using this application we will install this the other application so just double left click it to run the installer now let us proceed with the installation by clicking on next click on i accept the agreement click on next click on next click on next so here it will ask you to create one bsd folder so what i will do just open the file explorer and just open this local c drive and say let me create a folder under this program files so let me create a new folder so let me give a folder name bsd plugin you can give any name whatever you like so i've created a folder now just click on browse locate to the folder where we have created and now click on next to proceed with installation wait for a few seconds so the installation of this second application is done so now let us go back to the folder extracted folder again that is a preview now just double left click this application now you will see this kind of user interface right so you can see here one option written as instrument right just click on it and now you will see your browse just click on it and now let us go to the C drive and the folder where we have created the BSD plugin folder as you can see and just select this spicy gator 32.dll and click on open now it will get loaded here now just click on this instrument and click on this so BSD instrument window now you can see the layout of this spicy gator so now let me give you a quick overview of this spicy guitar, right? So you can see here, there is a tons of guitar options. So you can see, you can select which guitar you like, whichever guitar you want to choose here. So I will keep the default one. And here you can see some options like band, vibrato, pump, harmonics, like and sustain. So you can just enable it by clicking on it once it turn on green or blue icon 
then it has been activated and you can click on settings also if you want to change the latency samples core detections sound precisions also under the setting and you can see here MIDI map so here are some MIDI maps you can just customize it by yourself you can save the presets also whichever you like so I'll just keep it as it is right now and here you will see all the codes here you can enable or disable this codes detection I'll just enable it and here you can see impedance and you can select the room style small room medium whatever you like so I'll just keep it as it is and you can increase the volume so let me increase to maximum and below you can see here you can select two style of strings nylon strings or you can use a steel string so I will use a nylon strings here and you can see here in harmo you can just increase or decrease this in harmo options also as well as that one and here you can just select where you want to put this sounds and you can see here the hand where you want to increase or decrease and uh, you can see here the music's everything and you can see here the velocity mapper you can just increase or decrease this by dragging it up and down so here let me select a uh, sustain and I'll just select a uh, vibrate also so now let me try to play some chords using my computer keyboard as you can see here it's detecting the chords so you can see a uh, codes here which is being shown here so you can see if you play a C chord it is detecting as you can see here it's a C chord so if you want to change it you can see here below in the pre piano if you set it to D now if you play the same key combinations on your computer keyboard now it will change you from C to D so you can see here I press the same key combination but now it is playing as a D chord since I have sensed the key and if I change back to C and if I press the same key combination you can see here it's playing as a C chord so there's lots of customizations that you can do by yourself so I'm not gonna make you bored by showing each and every steps here so if you want to record it your planks also you can do it using this pre piano you can just click on this red button and once you're done you can just click on it again in order to stop recording and you can just save it as either mp4 or just web file so by going to the file you can just export it and save it for your later purposes so using this application named as pre piano you can easily play a guitar using a computer keyboard so if you find this video tutorial useful please click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to our channel click on the subscribe button and lastly thanks for watching